both of my parents went to Rice, and my grandparents, and my brother. So it's it's our family school, probably because it's like the best university in the United States. O Week has changed quite a bit in the in the past 20 years. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! This is fabulous. It's like the kids are coming to summer camp. It really is. I graduated in 1961 and a week? What's that? <laughs> we certainly didn't have any of that in 1957 when I entered. I don't think anybody does this better than we do and it's really because of the attitude the upperclassmen take. I mean the dedication they put into this. I mean they are so excited about welcoming the next group of students. The advisors um, take the time to get to know all of the new students' names that are in their college. So once they arrive here, they know who they are when they immediately see their face. You know, they immediately um, un unload their card, like the new students, the parents, the families, they absolutely do not have to li lift a finger. So really you know. like welcoming a younger brother or sister, such a positive attitude and you know, people arrive all worried about how they're going to move all their bags and things up to their rooms and the upperclassmen just descend on them and take care of it. We're just excited to see what the, whole, the future holds for them, what their opportunities are going to be. They're going to be really pleased to be where they are. They picked the right place. Hi, I'm Luke. I'm from the Big Island of Hawaii. I'm Grant. I'm from the last frontier, Alaska. It's a lot warmer here, definitely. <laughs> a little bit warmer. Uh, it's just a lot different, just all the stuff happening in the city, just all the things around, it's really awesome. It's a lot bigger, there's a lot more people. Um, yeah, it's a lot hotter, even for Hawaii. It's an awesome campus, the school is great, the people are great, the academics are great, I mean, it's just a great overall school. Knowing Rice had the best quality of life and like coming here and seeing the campus and seeing that that was real really, I mean, it just attracted me to Rice and I, I knew I like had to be here, you know. Growing up in Connecticut, I wanted to go somewhere warm for college and I wanted to go somewhere with a great academic, you know, uh, reputation and Rice had everything I was looking for. I love the residential system and I love the swim team and just the school in general. A little bit excited, a little bit nervous for sure but uh, she seems to love it and this, this has just been great so far. Geez, I'm nervous, but I'm really excited to see other people excited to help us out and uh, make us comfortable. Um, I'm so happy I came to, uh, to Rice. It's been, um, I've come to campus a couple times and every single time I've been here, people have been so welcoming and so excited to help me in any way that I needed it and it's been awesome. This is a great university, it's very unique. Uh, you know, and, and life is all about relationships and success and if you're going to be successful you, I think you got to have, have great relationships and we're out just trying to make new friends for you know for Rice and for Rice football and for Rice athletics and and if you look at our players face they have a lot of fun doing it. I and mean, this is something that's special about Rice there's not a lot of places that are this welcoming to their incoming freshmen like the way this is and it's something that you know when you think back on your time at Rice this is one of those things that you tell people about and how it's a unique experience it's something that you know it, it makes Rice what it is. It's slightly overwhelming, but it's, um, it's, it's a good overwhelming. It's a lot of energy and a lot of excitement, especially for the students like myself and my family who are kind of nervous to you know, venture to a new, bigger city. Very proud, very proud. I tell him all the time, he, yeah, he's, <laughs> and I know he's gonna do big things here, so. The campus is amazing. Um, like I said, the people, um, all I've ever asked uh, my son to do was to do better than what dad did, and he did it, I mean, so. I'm leaving both of my daughters. I only have two daughters, uh, Maritza and Victoria Mota, and uh, they are coming to Rice. We are truly, truly excited. It's an exciting time for all of us, and we're just hoping they get that great degree with, and get that great <laughs> job with benefits. <laughs> yeah. and so, are, are there going to be any tears uh, from your side? Uh, uh, yes, there'll be a, we'll shed <laughs> some tears, um, but they're going to be tears of excitement, you know, and joy because they're starting a new life. Um, they're going on and uh, going to go to college and have fun and study and, um, you know, experience life on their own without parents. 18 years, it's been a journey, and so we're starting a new journey, and uh, ready just to let them go. We've got to. It, this is what life is all about.